Blasphemous 2. I couldn't play on, on day one. Because of Baldur's Gate. And truth to be told, I can't wait to get it done. Pilgrimage. New game. The eternal dawn of our penances heralds its imminent end. Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. May the miracle bear witness to this oath. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. Wounded by the silence of this secluded existence. And then, as the city of the Blessed Name rose up, Born on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great heart could be heard emanating from the clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell, raised higher than any other, enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. It started the same like Blasphemous One. Well, flask recover vitality. Flasks are refilled by kneeling before a pride deal. Can't do much. You can't even go back. A defect. Big the style. I don't know how I wanna play it. Or I can take all.
Well, it's not exactly the same like Blasphemous 1. Better deal. That's the healing. Personal penitence. Can I take them all? I'm gonna go with a hammer or whatever the hell this is. Thou hast chosen thine companion on this pilgrimage. Only the miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Confirm. Okay. I'm committed to the hammer. It's a metroidvania, yeah? I haven't done a review for Baldur's Gate 3, coming out in 3 or 4 days from now. Working on it. Thou shall backtrack. Nice. Pretty much the same as Blasphemous One, a bit better maybe. Resting before a pride you will restore your health and flesh. It's the only way to save your progress upon dying, you'll reappear. The last pride you you visited and all the progress you made since that point will be lost. Kneel before one whenever you can. But you can't level up here. Is it the boss? Immediate. <laughs> Epic. An immediate boss. Faceless one. She's the love of me. Yo. Great! Great! There's contact damage! Holy! I died on a tutorial boss. 
You can tell I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 for a full month. You can tell. Acquire marks of martyrdom. Marks of what? Marks of martyrdom. What are marks of martyrdom? Does the currency? Can we speak? Let's go. one, returned from the tomb, and walking among the mourners, your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Anunthiada is my name, and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, hailing from the highest of all seats. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. But on this ascending path of penitence, the Arch Confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. Orospina, the Confraternity of Embroiderers. Benedicta, of the Confraternity of Endless Orison, Odon, of the Confraternity of Salt, Lesmes, of the Confraternity of Incorruptible Flesh, all under the dictate of the oldest penitent, the first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. Penitent One, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city, allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches and finally to the Great Heart. Look for the guardians. Uh huh. Purple would be the guardians. Crown of Towers. Palace of Embroideries. And the Sacred Entombments. Kill those four guardians, kill the penitent, and reach the. whatever the hell it is. I don't know. Only by revealing the regrets guarded by the three guardians can you ascend to its upper reaches and at last hasten towards the great heart. Alright. The Revine of the High Stones. The 
same music from Bless You Must Fly. It is. Same and there is. The Veredicto is the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. Long reach, wide, hard, devastating strength increase the chance of stunning enemies. In addition, its attacks will generate additional fervor with each strike and can be empowered by the flame of the sacred incense. Thunder of mercy, fall down, members of fate. To Words. Can it tell us or something? Taking it to the enemies fills your fervor bar, which now you perform variety of powerful prayers. You can equip them in your inventory. Verses. Press to recite a quick prayer. Chants. Combine to invoke a powerful prayer. Prayers. Chants. Flame from the very earth itself, which inflicts fire. Penet Peteneras is the burial of the lights. Out of thirty three. Thank God you can cheese them out. I definitely like damage from these. City of the Blessed Name.
today. Welcome to my most humble of workshops, which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnez is my name, master sculptor. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes, yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth, in some way? The miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the Most Blessed Lady as my last work of art. Penitent one, I beg you help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes and I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. Quite great. It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Or is it a blanket? Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. Piece of favors. Visit a sculptor workshop whenever you want to put figures in your altar piece of favors. Each figure confers powerful benefits to the penitent one who can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others in the altar piece. You can increase the number of slots in your altar piece of favors in exchange for the marks of martyrdom. So that's what the marks of martyrdom are for. <sighs> Open altar piece of favors, increase altar piece capacity, hand over two, hand over moment. Open those favors. Insert. That's a lot. Gave me. Increase physical damage inflict. Trait. Yeah, they act like the pits. Increase altar piece capacity. Do you want to upgrade the current altar piece? Only got one of these martyrdoms. Hmm. Not yet. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. Truth to be told, I already like blasphemous to you. It's everything I want it to be. Pray. May yeah, literally, hands... it's everything I wanted the game to be. Better version of blasphemous one. That's good. Going down. 
Man, it looks amazing! Absolutely amazing! Every single area looks great! Look how much detail there is! What is this now? This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession, crime and judgment, conceals naught but shadows. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth the tears for me, and forgiveness for those of you who seeketh it. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long? Since the long agony of this sacrament began. Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confessional, let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Penitent one, Return when the guilt scorches your brow. I will free you from your burden, for that is my purpose. Penitent one, I will free We're not guilty, I guess. We need to go down. markers yeah profundo lamento Stupid. Double jump. Alright, nice. What is this now?
No. Died. Shit is this? Not another one. Who are you, whose face and name you keep hidden? No, your name is of no consequence. If your footsteps have led you to me, Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment, for the steps that my promise inspires are swift. And the will that directs them unshakable. This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. An acquired steely battle lens. Really? You now have access to the weapon memory section in your inventory. Use marks of martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the better penitence to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. <sighs> I got the spear. Prayers, favors, weapon memories. Charge a powerful strike that damages nearby enemies. Veredict. Most the time requires to charge with a dict. Object of worship that was turned into a weapon, it delivered a violent intent to countless enemies, and the memories of those deaths linger on. Its strength resides in the arsenal of penitence in which it can be awakened. There is lore for the weapon as well. The night was dark and full of mist. Yerma saw her chance to climb in through an open window, breaking into that old church that discreetly oversaw a far corner of the village, a perfect night for her purpose. With cat-like agility, she climbed down a sculpture of the inner facade until reaching the cold marble floor. Nobody saw her further. She stepped into the temple's blackness, her eyes piercing every shadow in search of her objective. And there it was on top of an altar at the end of the nave, a silver rod, an old sacred relic that had remained intact despite the centuries. It shone with a glow of its own, like some kind of living thing. 
it was said that the Rad had been plated with an impossible ally of royal anointed silver. Yerma didn't hesitate, she slid from the shadows like a snake, took the rod, and felt its cold weight. The large and glow, fleetingly reflected in her eyes, revealing them to be full of hate and thirsty for vengeance. Nobody will ever know what happened to that holy artifact. I'm so freaking low, I don't wanna advance and destroyed and without healing god damn that fucker was tired stop it stop it don't tell me you reset you don't. <laughs> yes. 3.5k tears of atonement. And who's gonna go back now? Yeah, finally started. Rogue Trader 2024, and I would guess this time, September, October. Ascension, new ability game. Ah, we can climb on specific surfaces. You can cling to specific surfaces. Leads fear. Rosary beads. Equip rosary beads in their inventory, upgrade characteristics of a penitent one, find additional mast, increase the number of beads you can equip. Nuts and beads. That's the same as in Blasphemous One. Slightly increases resists to all physical damage. Sturdy metal ball embedded in a hollowed out wall of study. The monk who forged it was beaten to death, and no one remembers its real purpose anymore. Let's equip, we receive less damage. Turn marks of martyrdom. 
which can be used to upgrade certain characteristics of the planet. If one, you can earn marks of martyrdom by fighting and exploring the map. Am I supposed to execute them? Why it gave me marks of martyrdom on its own? Get it to be further away. This is way too close.
Sculptor's Resonant Gale. Small square hammer skill sculptor you still similar to this to work wood in the initial form. However, it's impossible not to conclude that any artist using such small a mallet must have sought to undergo some kind of penance or punishment. His last work, part 5. It was then that the sculptor, witnessed the whole ordeal, was blinded by radiance that grew from the pious visage of the lady. A flare so grossly incandescent that it condemned him to the most absolute darkness, the old man blinded forever. Yet in the midst of the deep blackness a vision persisted and grave with pure light, the most beautiful face he had ever laid eyes upon. That's so. That's how we're gonna play. Quired and empty what? Glass vessel able to contain the blood of flowing from the crimson flesh touched by the miracle used to increase the number of bile flasks. On hearing the young man question, the elder's gaze filled with melancholy. Yes, this church belongeth to a bygone age, once so ancient, so chaotic that it's as if it wanted to disappear from memory. An age in which time itself decided to stop in perpetual sunset and in which every man yearned only for the designs of the divine. But so it happened that the fate of those people faded, quietly escaping from their hearts year after year. Even so, this abandoned church still stands, its foundations as firm as ever, as if it waited for something, as if it refused to give up the fate that so many had already lost. And the old man stood there, gazing at the sturdy stone, lost in thought. It feels amazing. After a month of playing Baldur's Gate 3, you play Blasphemous still now. Not only because it's a completely different game, but also because my PC is cold, man. Nothing is producing heat. You know, Baldur's Gate 3 was suffocating me in extreme heat that my PC was producing. I could easily fry an egg on my desktop. How hot it was. Ice cold when I play Blasphemous Steel. I can't even hear my PC anymore. Abras, what? Looks amazing here. Huh, a new spell. Mirabras of the return to port takes the penitent one back to the city of the blessed name. It's a long verse. Chant of supplication to the Ferolera, sung by the sailors in need of aid. No, oh, it goes even deeper. Great. used for many years as payment for the processions that traverse the roads at night time. 
This procession's gradually died out, so finding a coin like this is a rare occurrence. The thick night mist snaked and curled around the lattice of trunks and branches that made out the forest. From that very fog that the sticked in my skin like a clammy shroud, it emerged the shadows. They marched in procession with mournful parsimony, each one a bearer of their own lament and grim expression, confused, wafting forward in death. Seized by the sinister sight, I could not help but witness frozen in place as they slowly made their way towards me. Only then did the procession stop. The shadow guiding the group, the tallest and most tenebrous of them all, bowed down in silence, showing me the palm of his bare hand. He was waiting for something petrified that could not be muttered a few vain words, whilst my whole being shivered. It was at that moment that the piercing light of a sudden dawn broke through the entangled canopy of that forest, tearing apart both fog and spectre, making it all vanish before me. The sweet song of birds conjured away the deadly silence that had reigned before. I will never know what tribute that ghost of mists would have asked for, nor I will ever encounter them again. Not yet. You can craft here, but not yet. Hand over a tool. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. piece on your back now has more capacity. Here I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. May the hands of the middle Out of thirty
What have I done? Oh! from that area. the purified one. Has to be a statue. The traitor, the purified one. They start with D. Is the statue.
shortcuts. How do I get the other one? Heads, they're invulnerable when you hit them in a head. Garden of the Height, fight the arts. Penitent one of merciful steps, my golden mask weeps to see you before me. You are in the garden of high choirs. I am another of the holy brothers of the golden visage, born of the miracle. Exactly what you expect out of Blasphemous. It feels like a DLC. More polished, better working, better looking. But what do you expect out of the Metroidvania? That's what it is. For now. But I have no doubt it's great. Oh, tireless time that travels without delay and erases the past. Conjuring up uncertain futures, make us remember when the miracle imposed its dark punishment upon us. That which prevented us from soaring and traveling with the breath of the wind. Penitent one, free my brothers who, by the designs of a miracle that already seems a stranger to us, are imprisoned and scattered throughout these lands under the gaze of the great heart that has risen on high, only they will allow you to climb to the highest point. Help us by freeing more brothers, and we shall reveal to you what the tower holds at its highest point. Help us by... Okay. Those mini angels we get along the way.
this. God, not you. I'm about to die. I can't kill him right now. I don't have double jump, I can't go up. The wood is, I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers, that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. Do I got a new one? Increase its fire damage. Beauty, Krista. May the hands of the Do 
go to the first area again to see what I missed. For example. are we, for I behold a penitent. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico, pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. You never know where precious assets may be. What, prey can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination, as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. See how much voice acting means in a game. Imagine if the game was mute and you just see the line of text and you need to read it. The immersion drops by like, like, like 50% of the game. It's very important. I don't know, like, when they say, you know, when, when devs create a game, no matter what, it's an indie game, and then they say they didn't have money for voice acting. How many of you worked on a game? Then you have voice acting on your own. Better any voice acting than no voice acting. This is good voice acting, this film is still, but better any than none. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Galera of the Living Briar creates a bolt of electricity that inflicts light, increases the chance of critical hits when using prayers. But I got 11k. Is there nothing of it? What a pity! <laughs> what is this? Oh, prepare, you're gonna play Breath of the Righteous, prepare for like 300 hours, if not even more. Come closer. And contemplate this delicate tumbaga, the embroidered shawls, the silk dresses. You are in Regina's shop. My goods are my home, my bed. They are as much a part of me as I am of them. You point, and this diligent arm will surely grant your request. Is the window of time to perform a block it recovers health after execution it reduces penalties for accumulation of guilt it increases fervor generated when attacking enemies it slightly increase the damage of prayers it increase resist to lightning increase resist to mystical it increases martyrdom points earned Let's increase martyrdom points earned. Yeah, the form red skull. That's a buy. These are the keys: abandoned rosary knot and a wax seed.
Here among my wares, I shall await your return. How do I unlock additional slot? Increase resistive physical. Uh -uh. This. You can't TP from waypoint to waypoint. Open up the skin and red flesh. Uncover the lie that my shell conceals, for I am only blood and bones. So allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests. Give the empty. We get additional flask. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Bring me more vials. Bring me chalice. Does the wish to make the sacrifice? I'm curious if, if I say yes, but I don't know what's gonna happen. That the wish to make the sacrifice. Now, let's say yes. Give 
blood. What? Bring me challenge. But why have I done that? Man, everything requires a double jump. Happens press to rescue enemies. Defeating them in this way grants you fervor, tears of atonement, and martyrdom point forms.
Really you. The sinuous mists pay us with the false coin, the one with jagged edges and forgotten features, the one that is worthless and desired by none. Thus, we will guide you through the dense blackness to the remotest of places. that was used for many years as payment for the processions that traverse the roads at night. Well, let's see what happens, I don't Figure know. of the sinuous myth. Now pray, lie down on the cold stone. And let the black curtain envelop you in darkness. Where are we? Figure of the sinuous mists. Pay us with the false coin. And we will guide you. Uh -huh. He transfers you God knows where. That's what it is. Bend the rosary now. We got a rosary now. Core nut, whose origins have been long forgot. Skill hands could. Join this knot to the strings that hold the rosary beads. Knot after knot, bead after bead, with the most composed of patience, I thread the rosary. 
each be the guilt of mourning a confession, a step in the long ladder of penance. Enter the threshold of this grim haven, forgotten by all, will enter those that seek my assistance, those that seek this old and sacred craft of mine, those that will face the light shed by the candles of my roof, whoever they are. They shall then bask on the shelter and the hope they provide. I will until that moment wait, not after not, bead after bead, with the most composed of patience. Well, at least I'm in the very first area. But for this crap, I need double jump. Jesus Christ, I nearly died. I'm still alive since I started, but I nearly died. Tough area. Very tough area. I'm not supposed to be here yet. I don't like it. I can tell by the damage they deal. in a blue one. Get a skill for these meters. It's pointless. You just to unlock a shot. how many enemies repeat from Blast for this one. That's a lot of enemies that are repeating. Maybe I've seen two or three new ones. Everything else just repeats. Post. Yeah.
what is this? this there's a lot to explore but I'm freaking dead and I said I'll play but I won't play for long that means I'm up to bed because Baldur's Gate 3 just destroyed me. So from now on, in the next few days, I'll play like two or three hours a day. Until I'm done with videos for Baldur's Gate 3. Did I like the ending of Baldur's Gate 3? There's like 1,000 different endings. Did I like my ending? Yeah, it was a good ending. The fight, like with the Dramalek, that would be the devil, Raphael. That's the fight like a Dramalek. People. After how many hours I was done with Baldur's Gate, the game says 160, Steam says 320. I'll play Starfield, I won't buy Starfield. I'll play Starfield, I'll get a uh, Game Pass. Because it's free on a Game Pass, and I'll play it on a Game Pass. I'm not crazy to buy Starfield. The game is a joke. I mean, it's Bethesda, come on. People, this is gonna be it for today, for tonight. And I'll be seeing you back tomorrow. Uh, next stream, same time as today, I guess, in around 16, 17 hours from now. I want to rest, I want to sleep, I want to have like two or three days where I sleep at least eight to nine hours a day. I really need sleep. So up I go to bed immediately. People, thanks for watching. I love Blasphemous still, and I'll continue playing it until I'm done with it. People, good night. See you back soon.